Welcome back to another video, you guys. We are here with week 16 of the Seattle Seahawks franchise. We'll be playing against the Dallas Cowboys on the road on Christmas Eve. Definitely looking forward to that matchup in real life as well as today. As you guys can see, we have leapfrogged into the first place of the NFC um, playoff standings. But as you guys can see, obviously the Cardinals are 10 and 4 as well. So really, anyone has a chance at grasping that first seed at all. Depends on who loses, so I don't think I've ever seen a tight race like this one. I mean, next week we play the Cardinals, and if we do lose to them, then they will end up winning the division. Barring that they lose today and we win, then it'll probably be a different result. We'll have to see. I don't know, like, what the point differential would be if we lost against them and we both had a tie record. And, you know, who would get in favor of that. But anyway, we're focused on this game right now. We got to take care of these Dallas Cowboys who are not in the playoff picture. But here we go. Blair Walsh kicks us off, and we are underway from this one as Switzer will not take it out of the end zone. And so from the 25-yard line, Dak Prescott comes out, hands it off to Ezekiel Elliott, and Elliott gets the first down all the way up to the 39-yard line. Big run for Elliott to start the game off. Second and 10 now. Here's Prescott out of the shock and plenty of time, but he's going to be sacked. Michael Bennett came off the edge with pressure and got past this really good Dallas offensive line. Kind of surprising, but at the same time not because Michael Bennett's one of the better defensive ends. Here's Christian, or excuse me, not Christian McCaffrey, Ezekiel Elliott taking the carry, and he gets injured on the play, forcing a 4th and 19, and that is not good. Hopefully he is okay. But here's Thomas Rawls taking the carry for the first time today, and Rawls pushing a pile forward and getting a first down for the Seahawks. Second and two now, Wilson, play action fake. Rolling away, looking to go down the field, just fires it underneath. He finds Jimmy Graham for the first down and moves the sticks to the 50-yard line. Big gain there. Graham has both of the completions for Russell Wilson so far in this drive. Here's Russell Wilson now on third down and one, rolling away, firing to the outside. He finds Curse again. Really high throw, and Curse somehow comes down with it. I thought that was going to be out of bounds, but it doesn't matter. On second and ten now, Russell Wilson again dropping back, firing quickly, finds his man. Doug Baldwin makes the reception and gets the first down. He had a nine-catch game last week, so he's having a really good season. Wilson on second and five now is going to keep it himself, and he's going to take a big hit, but get back up, and there's an injured Cowboy on the field, and so... Wilson gets down to the seven yard line on third down and goal. Here's Wilson to the end zone. He finds Baldwin and the Hawks strike first and a touchdown for them. So here comes Prescott now down seven, nothing trying to put together a drive hands off to Alfred Morris. So it looks like Ezekiel Elliott is not okay, but he gets up to the 41, a big 16 yard run. Regardless, this offensive line is going to open up some holes to run through on third down and nine. Now here's Morris. Or actually that's Darren McFadden making the reception, but not going very far. Because Richard Sherman was right there to make the tackle. On third down and nine from the two. Here's Russell Wilson. Play action fake now. Going over the top. He finds Tyler Lockett for the first down. But Lockett fumbles the ball. And the Cowboys recover. It's Sean Lee on the recovery. So they'll be in Seattle territory. That is not good. Third down and four now. Here's Prescott. Over the middle he goes. But it's incomplete. He couldn't find Terrence Williams. So Dallas will settle for a field goal. Making it 7-3 to three in the second quarter. Now here's Rawls taking the carry. And Thomas Rawls weaving through traffic. And getting up to the 43-yard line. Good run there and very good ball carrier vision by him. On first down and 10 now, Wilson with the play action fake. Plenty of time to throw. Looking down the field, he fires a bullet to Jermaine Curse, who gets the first down. And Curse gets up to the 27-yard line. Moving the sticks for the Seahawks on third down and 6 now with 6.50 left in the first half. Here's Russell Wilson standing strong in the pocket to the outside. He goes and he finds Curse again and Jermaine Curse is having himself quite a nice first half here as he makes the reception on the sideline. Down to the six-yard line on first and goal now. Wilson to the end zone. He finds Curse again. And Jermaine Curse having the drive of his life right there. Having a couple of very key catches and getting a touchdown. On third down and eight, here is Dak Prescott finding Des Bryant. Who better to find on third down and long? And he gets the first down. From the 49-yard line, here's Prescott again dropping back. Shanning strong in the pocket. Finding to the outside. He finds Des Bryant again. Bryant outruns Richard Sherman but can't outrun Deshaun Shedd. But he gets the first down regardless. Third down and 11 now. Prescott again out of the shotgun. Looking at it down the field. Rolling away from pressure. But he can't. His own offensive lineman got in his way. And so he gets sacked. Lael Collins really was in the way of Prescott. Who probably could have gotten away from pressure. On first down and 10 now. Here's Russell Wilson again dropping back. Looking at it down the field. Standing in the pocket. Firing over the middle. He finds Doug Baldwin. Who gets the first down. Down to the 11 yard line. On first down and 10 now. Wilson again. Rolling away, stepping up, firing down the field. He finds Graham, and Jimmy Graham's got a lot of room to run with. There he goes, and he gets down to the 38-yard line, and the two-minute warning is at hand now. First down and 10 now. Wilson, again, dropping back, looking at it down the field, stepping up and firing a floater to Doug Baldwin. A beautiful throw right there, pitch and catch. 
and Bolden hangs on after taking a lick. Third down and five now. Wilson again dropping back, and he gets up to the 10 yard line. He finds Tyler Lockett for a big reception. So from the 22 yard line, here's Russell Wilson now trying to escape pressure, but he gets sacked for the second time on this drive. It's Demarcus Lawrence forcing a field goal for the Seahawks. So now Alfred Morris, here he goes, catching a screen pass with 20 seconds left until halftime, and all of a sudden, the Cowboys look like they're, they're in field goal range and have a chance to put up some points possibly before this half. Exactly what the Seahawks did not want. Here's Morris taking the catch on second and one. Juking out Shaquille Griffin, and there he goes! Touchdown! 26 yards. What a play by Alfred Morris. I mean, there was nobody else besides Griffin. I don't know how we broke contain there for him. On third down and nine now, Russ Wilson to start the third quarter. is going to keep it himself and stiff arm a man, but get the first down. Big run for Russell. On second and nine now, Wilson again dropping back. Standing strong off of the play action, going deep, and he finds Doug Baldwin into Cowboy territory all the way down to the 25-yard line. That's Baldwin's sixth reception of the day. He's having a fantastic season, as I've said before. On third down and 11, here's Doug Baldwin making another reception, but he will be short of the first down. And the Seahawks do end up missing the field goal. So here's Prescott now dropping back, and the ball gets batted away at the line of scrimmage by K.J. Wright. Wilson now hands it off to McCaffrey. Christian McCaffrey on second and six has a big hole, and there he goes! 20, 10, 5, and McCaffrey gets his career-long touchdown run. 68 yards! Huge play for the Seahawks. The rookie just bursted off the edge and showed off his acceleration, something he did at Stanford a lot. He hasn't really had the chance to do it here, but nonetheless, he gets a big touchdown for himself there. Terrence Williams makes the catch for the first down on second and 12. Earl Thomas and Shaquille Griffin there to make the tackle for the Seahawks. On third down and two now, here's Prescott handing it off, and Alfred Morris gets up to the 44-yard line but doesn't get much farther. It'll be fourth and three, so the Seahawks get the ball back. Here's Russell Wilson on first down and 10, trying to throw it, but he's going to be sacked by David Irving. His second sack of the game, the Seahawks were down at the six-yard line, so now the Cowboys get the ball after a three and out. Here's Prescott trying to escape, but he's going to be sacked by Deshaun Shedd. Coming off another corner blitz. Deshaun Shedd is having an insane season for sacks. Here's second and 12 now. Alfred Morris makes the catch, gets undercut by Bobby Wagner, and gets near a first down, but will not quite get it, so it will be third down and one. On third down and one now, Prescott firing. Orthodox, he finds Des Bryant, and Des Bryant gets the first down and moves the sticks on first down and 10 now. Here's Prescott again dropping back. Orthodox goes, he finds the veteran. Jason Wynn, old reliable right there, makes the reception for the first down and moving the sticks again. Dallas on third down and six now. Here's Prescott under center. Pump fix, and he's going to hand it off. I don't know why they did that, but Darren McFadden's not going to get anywhere. The Seahawks have stuffed the run. So on fourth down and five, Prescott's going to try to get a first down. He's dropping back from the 17 quickly over the middle. He goes, and he finds Witten, but Jason Witten looks like he's just short. And that's exactly what the refs are going to say. And so the Seahawks take over. Here's Thomas Rawls taking the carry. And Rawls is going to fumble the ball. He lost it, and the Cowboys recover it. That is not good. And so Dallas gets a second chance with great field position from the 12-yard line on first down and 10 now. Seahawks showing blitz, and that's exactly what they do. Prescott cannot escape from Bobby Wagner. Or actually, that's KJ Wright, rather. And so he gets sacked, and it'll be second and 15 to go. Third down and 15 now. Prescott under center from the 17. Play action fake. Trying to escape pressure, and he's sacked again. Cliff Favreau got there with the pressure in fourth and 21 is forced. Prescott has to go to the end zone, but they're going to hand it off to Alfred Morris. I don't get that decision, Jason Garrett. What are you thinking? It's fourth and 21. You have to throw it to the end zone at that point. I don't know why they ran it and what their thought process was. They might as well have kicked a field goal. But it, none, nonetheless, Russell Wilson is just going to fire to Jimmy Graham and get the first down from the 38-yard line with three minutes left in this ball game. Here's the handoff to Rawls, and Rawls just runs right past the Cowboys' defensive line. Jukes out a man and gets a first down and just put Jalen Smith on skates. First down and 10 again now. Russell Wilson dropping back again. Looking to go down the field. Can't find anybody open. Still looking. Now Russell Wilson's going to keep it. Do a useless spin move and get a first down. I don't know why he did that. But nonetheless, the Seahawks move the sticks and get a first down. Third down and four now. Here's the handoff to Christian McCaffrey. And McCaffrey breaks the tackle and gets the first down. Man, he should have just went straight up the middle because he would have had a big run. There was nobody down the field. All his linemen were there. But nonetheless, Thomas Rawls is going to punch it in for a touchdown. And the Seahawks extend their lead now to 31-10. to 
with 1 minute and 30 seconds left on 4th and 15. Dak Prescott fires, and he's going to be intercepted by Earl Thomas, and that'll practically do it for this game as the Seahawks get a win and move on to 11-4, and four, getting ready to face the Arizona Cardinals at home next week. But what a pretty good game. I still don't get why the Cowboys ran it on 4th and 21. That's probably the stupidest decision I've seen in a very long time. But hopefully... No more teams do that because I don't I don't really like the way that played out. But nonetheless, that'll pretty much do it for this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, and comment. God bless everything, one of you guys, and I'm out. Peace.